A workers' rights group in Queanbeyan has handed back hundreds of work choices booklets to Eden Monero MP Gary Nan, labelling them a waste of money. It says the government has abandoned the work choices name, but Mr Nan says the booklets are still valid. The Howard government's IR laws continue to divide the electorate. Protesters handing back hundreds of brochures today as criticism escalates on the government's decision to change tack on industrial relations advertising. $55 million has been spent by the Howard government in advertising work choices. And work choices is not cool anymore. We're not using that term. We're going to use other euphemisms. And they're laying the blame squarely on Gary Nairn. He's the chair of the government's Committee on Communications, responsible for advertising spending. Everything that's in the booklet um, is still accurate. Uh, it's, uh, it covers the legislation that was, uh, that was put into the parliament uh, over 12 months ago. The government maintains while the wording has changed, work choices has not. It's proving uh, superb, particularly for the electorate of Eden Monero, because we now have uh, unemployment down at 4.6 per cent. Uh, and it's interesting that uh, people are protesting in Queanbeyan because unemployment uh, in Queanbeyan, the latest figures, 2.4 per cent. But the unions say the big spending on advertising the government's IR laws is a waste. Why doesn't Gary Nan spend that money in his electorate in health, in education, in roads and other things that are of importance to his, uh, to his uh, constituency? Glenn Osborne, Wind News.